There are more and more people looking to become a data analyst than ever before, just like you. You want a 70k per year entry level salary, work from home, and do this without experience or even without a degree. All of that is possible as a data analyst. But in 2025, everybody's thinking the same thing. I've seen people try for six months or even years before getting a single interview. This video is based on last year's with my updated strategy for 2025 proven to work. If you want to stop struggling and become a data analyst fast, this is the best way guaranteed. So first we're going to identify the key skills. Last year I found five core skills that companies were looking for, and these were SQL, structured query language used to work with databases, Microsoft Excel, the spreadsheet, Python, the programming language, and R, the other programming language, and also Tableau, a visualization software, and Microsoft's Power BI. Now, how has that changed? Well, here's a site that actually scans job listings, and we can see what skills employers look for without guessing. We're gonna select Data Analyst, and the most important skill is SQL, just as before. Now, Excel is next, and Python, Tableau, Power BI, and R. So it seems to be kind of the same as before, but some other critical things have changed. Now, you don't need to learn all the skills. You can choose between Python or R for programming. Python is more popular, but R is more common in research and academia. You can also choose between Power BI and Tableau, and the difference is pretty small, and you can always transfer your knowledge, and both are just as in demand. Now, the next step is becoming trustworthy, and employers don't really care about people with skills, but those who they trust to get the job done. They're just not willing to take a chance. Here's a four-step process to ensure that you become a strong, trustworthy candidate that can send an application and get hired. When people tell me that their applications are getting no responses, this is almost always the problem. First, First, you'll need to create a project. And don't be discouraged, this part can actually be pretty easy and fun. Define a business question that you're trying to solve. Find data that you can work with and pick suitable tools. For example, Python and SQL. And then clean, prepare, and analyze data, gather insights, and present them. Now, that's easy to say, right? So it's a pretty big thing to do when you're getting started. And what you can do is follow along on somebody else's guided project without having to go through all of this yourself. There are free guided projects like these on YouTube, so just start customizing these and then adding stuff to make them more unique. Once you're comfortable, you can move into creating your own projects, but you can still follow guides, access online resources, and even some use of AI, because you're not alone in this. But projects mean nothing if you don't have a portfolio to show your employer. You don't need a lot of projects to start building a portfolio either, so try selecting around two to five of your projects. That's all you need to start. You can upload your projects for free on GitHub or Kaggle, but once you're more serious, I recommend creating a personal portfolio as well. This is a separate website that you often own. The most important thing, whatever site you choose, is to make recruiters happy. And for that reason, keep it simple. Highlight the core aspects of each project, the skills, and include a nice visual or image. You can then customize your site and make it look professional. And there are also some sites with templates, like this one, making it really easy for you. And I'll include a detailed video where I go over this at the end. Sometimes people consider getting certified, which is kind of the next step. But if you get the wrong certification, you can do more harm than good. Because passing a certification exam can take a lot of time that you could have spent on projects or just applying to jobs. But some can be worth it though, and they're just generally from top providers like Microsoft, Google, and Amazon. Microsoft has a Power BI data analyst cert called PL300, and Tableau also has a popular certification. They're not free, but if you're a Coursera or Data Camp user, you can get a 50% discount if you complete certain learning paths. So how do you put all of this together on your resume then? You've gone through so much stuff, but again, keep it simple and remember that less is more. Focus on your strengths, and if you have some relevant experience, then include that. If you don't, pay more attention to another section. Think about the skills and what the recruiter is looking for, and every single line on your resume should have a clear purpose to show that you're a good candidate for a data analyst job. Don't just put something on your resume for the sake of it, and you can create your actual resume on Canva or Resume.io or some other site. They have some free data analyst templates over there as well. Now you're ready to go out and face the job market knowing that you're ready, and this is gonna make you more confident, it's gonna allow you to get an interview faster, and if you're not getting an interview right away, then do not worry. Go back, improve your portfolio, consider a certification, and try again. And if you spin the wheel enough times and you keep improving, it's gonna land on your number. I'm gonna leave a free data analyst roadmap in the description, but you also need a portfolio. And I did not forget this video, so check it out right here. This is the secret to become a data analyst. Shh.